Whenever you hear the words electric pickup, you may think of the Ford F-150 Lightning or Tesla Cybertruck. But there's a new name in town. Toyota is entering the EV pickup industry and they mean business. Following in Ford's footsteps, Toyota is releasing a revamped version of its most popular truck, the Toyota Tacoma. Why are people so excited about this truck? What's so special about it? Join us today as we look at the all-new Toyota Tacoma electric truck set to dominate the pickup industry. Now, to fully understand why the all-new Tacoma is going to take the industry by storm, we have to understand how popular this truck already is. Toyota has been a front-runner in the truck market since 1995, with both the Tacoma and Tundra establishing a prominent market presence just behind Ford and GMC. The Tacoma is affordable, and people love it because Toyota has a global reputation for building reliable, durable vehicles that seemingly last forever. With a staggering 42% market share, the third-generation standard Toyota Tacoma is a leader in the mid-size truck class. So far, Toyota has done an excellent job of keeping the details about the Tacoma under wraps, but they finally released some information about the Tacoma's electric version at their latest event. First and foremost, it'll have a driving range of up to 325 kilometers on a single charge, which is further than any other EV pickup on the market. The company has confirmed it'll follow in Ford's footsteps by adding an EV drivetrain to the already popular Tacoma truck design. This comes with some drawbacks if they use exactly the same chassis. But if they follow Ford and use a combination of shared body parts and a modified EV platform chassis to house the battery pack, it could be a winning formula. Toyota boss Simon Humphrey stated, each electric vehicle should be unique and special, not only those on dedicated platforms, but also those related to existing models. While nothing is official, they'll likely introduce a global EV platform that can be shared with the Tundra and Land Cruiser. Rivian is a relatively new company that is making a big splash in the electric vehicle market and they've seen success using this method. They released the R1T and R1S, which are both underpinned by the same base platform. They've focused on the truck industry first, but are creating vehicles that are not only eco-friendly, but also stylish and luxurious. Despite having many similarities to other trucks on the market, Toyota's new Tacoma EV will stand out thanks to its bright and refined appearance and unique features, such as its closed grille and distinctive wheels. The sharper headlamps and vertical extensions, as well as the horizontal LED fog light bars, give the vehicle a front end reminiscent of Arctic vehicles. It's also packed with features that are sure to make your driving experience more enjoyable. It comes standard with wireless charging, LED headlights, and a state-of-the-art infotainment system. CarandDriver.com have suggested that the Tacoma will be offered in four different trim levels. The Tacoma Sport Rally, costing under $30,000, the Tacoma TRD all-wheel drive at $35,000, the Tacoma Limited for $39,000, and finally, the top-of-the-range TRD Limited all-wheel drive costing north of $50,000. The exact price of the EV version of this car hasn't been confirmed yet, but if it can get anywhere near these price ranges, the Tacoma will remain competitive with the Ford F-150 Lightning. However, it'll be completely blown out of the water when you compare it to the Ford Maverick. Production has plagued the industry, and it has become quite hard to get your hands on any car at MSRP these days. Ford has experienced an issue with dealer markups, and Toyota is no different. There was a report from a customer in Arizona who bought a 2021 Toyota Tacoma with a markup of $16,400, and a 2023 Tundra in Florida with a $23,000 markup. Then, an unfortunate buyer in Nevada bought a 2023 GR Supra with a $50,000 markup. These cases are an unfortunate consequence of the chip shortages and supply constraints, creating a much higher demand for new vehicles than manufacturers can supply. The middlemen at the dealers are in the position to capitalize and, unfortunately, some people are willing to pay. If you've experienced this, would you let us know in the comments? We'd love to hear your story. Getting back to it though, here's a question. Is Toyota arriving too late to the party when it comes to EV truck production? We already have Ford and Rivian in the market delivering and scaling production. They're closely followed by Tesla, GM, and Hyundai. By the time we see a Toyota EV in 2024, it's expected that Ford will be closing in on their goal of producing 2 million EVs per year, and Tesla will have at least started Cybertruck production. 
Jim Farley, Ford CEO, has said, this is going to be the most competitive period of time in the last 50 years. Before we can answer this question, let's understand more about Toyota. The Japanese brand is the largest manufacturer globally, producing over 10 million vehicles per year, followed by Volkswagen, Hyundai Kia, General Motors, and Ford, which alone delivers just over 6 million vehicles annually. Toyota is huge and has factories in countries all over the globe. This gives them a few advantages. They have existing relationships with global suppliers, which will help with sourcing materials. Existing manufacturing plants that can be adapted to produce EVs without starting from scratch. And they already have a lot of experience by leading the hybrid EV car market since the launch of the Toyota Prius in 1997. Although they're entering a highly competitive pickup truck market set to get only more competitive in the next five years, Toyota is still one of the best placed companies to enter a little late, but still in a great place to compete. Toyota entered the US market in 1957, with the Toyota Crown becoming the first Japanese brand to be sold in America. In 1964, Toyota introduced the first compact pickup truck to America, the Stout. In 1968, they released the first American-made vehicle, the Corolla. People didn't take them seriously when they first arrived, but they've grown to become one of America's favorite brands. They've done this by consistently delivering high-quality vehicles that are wallet-friendly, durable, and will keep going forever. So it's hard to rule them out at this stage. Last year, Toyota confirmed they'd be investing $1.29 billion to build a battery plant in Liberty, New York. And just this month, Toyota announced it would be tripling the size of its funding for the new battery plant, bringing the total to $3.8 billion. Toyota has committed to delivering 15 brand new EVs by 2025 and is investing heavily into their BZ line, the brand's pure EV moniker. It's not known yet if we'll see the BZ Tacoma name being used, but there are strong rumors suggesting they'll adopt some of the innovative features within the BZ range. The BZ4X and Lexus RZ450e have shown that Toyota is offering a driving yoke as an alternative to the conventional steering wheel. Although they're coming close to Tesla in appearance, they've been able to develop a much better yoke steering wheel experience. One of the primary issues with a yoke steering wheel is the need to awkwardly re-grip the wheel on a long or fast corner. So Toyota invented Steer by Wire. This nifty feature means the yoke is not mechanically connected to the wheels and instead they're controlled by software, meaning depending on how far the yoke is turned in either direction, the car's wheels will turn for you. The yoke doesn't need to be spun more than 100 degrees in either direction for the car to reach the maximum turn angle. Tesla has this feature in beta test, however rumors have it they had to drop it as fine-tuning it was holding up production. So. Toyota's EVs are all set to take the world by storm. Not only are these vehicles going to challenge the current status quo, but they're also going to herald a more environmentally friendly future. Toyota also plans to change the luxury brand Lexus by changing the traditional combustion engine to an electric one. So, are you guys excited about the revamped version of the Tacoma? What are your expectations for the truck? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. And that's all the time we have today, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit that bell icon to remain updated about all our future videos. See you all next time.